I have not been ordering a lot of things. I genuinely have just been invested in my work lately. Uh, Briarfest is around the corner, so it has been mayhem trying to plan and prep for that. I did receive a package unexpectedly in the mail, and this is an unboxing that I have never done before. I received a piece of fan mail. I received an email from someone that was requesting my address so their daughter could send me a piece of fan mail. That was a long time ago and I was like, as soon as you realize it's going to be $40 to ship me anything, you're probably not. But this piece of mail showed up at my doorstep and it's super cute because it's all drawn on. It says DJB. Briar. It says, I love Todd. Love me some Briar horses. This side. You may already decide to do this, but it would mean a lot to me if you opened this on camera. So here we are with the fan mail. So I have no idea what's inside of this, and your guess is as good as mine. Oh, it's all wrapped. I've contemplated like opening my address for fan mail or like having a P.O. box that I could open things but it's kind of self-centered to ask for these things so this is like ultra sweet because I didn't ask for this. This person wanted to do this. Cute. It says DJB and she drew me a little horse. It said sorry for using two E's in DJB on the letter. Everybody does that. It's a common mistake. I know. I'm writing to you because I want to tell you how much I love all of your horses, and I agree, Carmelos are a no. Thank you! Everybody I've talked to says that they like Carmelos, and I don't know how you could like a Carmelo. I don't find them attractive at all. My dad likes them though. Okay, so I need to have a talk with your dad. <laughs> the most briars I ever got at one time was in 2019. I got a series 2 box of stable mates. My mom said I tore into them like a rabbit dog. <laughs> I think that's the definition of every model collector. We're just all rabbit dogs. Uh, not entirely true. I don't know, I think it's entirely true. I definitely had a rabbit dog moment, and I film most of my rabbit dog moments, so I can't even say that I didn't because I, it's, it's on camera. I've been held accountable. <laughs> Man, it made me mad when you opened the box of Huckleberry Bay horses and they were scratched to high heaven. High heaven! I agree. We have three cats. Peaches is a diabetic. McLeod is mentally challenged. Trigger is jumpy. We have three horses and two mules. You have two mules? Okay. Maximus, Tater Tot, and Kid Rock are the three horses, and John, Henry, and Gabe are the two mules. That's really cool. I really like mules. I got four stablemate models and made Max, Tater, Kid Rock, and John Henry and glued them to a small cedar board and made little pack saddles and painted on little halters with string lead ropes connecting them. I didn't put Gabe on there for two reasons. One, I cannot paint a buckskin for the life of me. Two, he kicked my dad in the side of the face while bending over to pick up his hoof. Don't worry, my dad is okay. Most of the reason this letter is I wanted to tell you I absolutely love each and every one of your customs, but my three favorites have got to be Ghost, Bacillus, and Yorg. That's so awesome. Those are my three favorites too. I'm glad you like Ghost because a lot of people don't like Ghost and I don't know why because I'm obsessed with him. He's one of my favorites. I really love watching your videos. It makes me feel better about myself seeing how you started out and how far you've come. When I told my mom you lived in Canada, she said, well, no wonder she's so good. <laughs> it's just because we have such long winters that we're like so bored that we get good at things and we practice a lot because there's nothing to do outside because you can't go outside. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she said that! It's so cold up there, she doesn't have anything else to do. That's semi-valid. I mean, like, eight months of the year, I can't ride my horse or go outside, so I spend a lot of time painting. Wow, that was really cute. I like knowing, like, random facts about my fans. So she's, like, wrapped everything, and it's, like, really cute. What is this? Oh my gosh. Halters and leads. It's like a gradient yarn. Very nice. Halter leads. Always need halter leads. This one says, I know you don't really collect stable mates, and I can't get you a traditional, so I hope you like decorators. You're not supposed to be buying these stable mates, friends. 
That's actually really cool. I love the color. Like the turquoise and the purple. Like those are two, like this turquoisey teal color is one of my favorites actually. So I like this a lot. This looks like one of those drip customs that like the fun day tutorial did. I will treasure her forever. That is like so sweet. This says for your briars. What could that possibly mean? gonna cry this is so good <laughs> what this is like a little hat but for briar these are obviously Christmas hats because I live in Canada and it's so cold <laughs> that's actually really cute <laughs> I can't deal with this briars and hats but she's like made all the little like light string and that it even has like the little like light like where you would turn it on if it was real. Hole here to open. She wrote my full name wrong. I'm gonna take a picture of this and then I can add the photo into the video. So she spelled my name wrong and then she spelled it right. She got it right and she got my last name right too which that is an accomplishment in itself. And she says, I hope you find my packaging okay. I'm also a horrible speller. So sorry. Happy customize. This is her mule. This is so terrible. Sorry, you have to do that. Do not criticize your work. Own your work. Own it. Own it. She sent me this painting. <laughs> it's so cute. It's like actually quite similar to my style. It seems like it's an impression of my my painting. Well, that is very special. I will have to put this up in the studio somewhere. How precious has this day been? It's really great. Maybe I should do tutorials on like how to do my my spider paintings like I do. Cuz this is a pretty solid attempt. That was a very nice surprise to my Monday. All right, so this has been DJP. Thanks for watching. That was as surprising for you as it was for me. And those are the best kind of unboxings. Working hard on Briarfest. There should be an update about that coming soon. I'll do a little video kind of explaining everything that I will be um, selling Briarfest weekend. So you don't have to be a part of Briarfest to join my Briarfest sales. They will be like publicly listed. It's just a build up to the July weekend, which happens 16th to 18th of July, 2021, um, is Briarfest weekend. Yeah, I will be launching more information about that soon. Thank you so much for watching, and this is really fun. And if you were the sender of this package, thank you so much. This is very special. I will treasure these things for a long time.